All right, questions for Abby? What's first off, Abby? How's it going under Joe Kurt? Yeah, I mean, it's awesome. Joe has been a, a monumental part of our program, and just to see him take the lead and kind of take the program where he wants to has been awesome to be able to be a part of it. Notre Dame, Brio, shout out. How was that just getting out there and just kind of really evaluating where you guys are at? Yeah, I think it was good to just get on the field and be able to play, um, kind of get our nerves out, kind of shake out the legs, get some get some fitness in while uh, doing it. Uh, also being able to just get a result come out of there with no, no goals against was a huge victory for us. How would you describe kind of the energy right now on the team going into this season? Yeah, I think the energy has been awesome. I mean, preseason's always long, it's hard. You got two a days going in, but just our chemistry, I think, is building. We're in a great point, uh, the energy just you know, whether we're singing at practice or dancing in the locker room has been a huge part of uh, our success so far. And as, you know, fifth year, when there's that team, got a lot of freshmen coming in, how has it been, like, getting them to adjust and, and acclimated to the team? Yeah, I think at first the freshmen are always shocked at, like, how much fun we have. And I think that's <laughs> kind of how we have our success is that balance between, like, the competitiveness and the fun that we have. So kind of getting them on that page, like, hey, we want to have fun. That's how we're good. Um, it's definitely been a learning curve, but uh, they're kind of getting into it. They're kind of having fun. You see them dancing a little bit more, so it's awesome for them to be part of it. How do you feel like the defense has looked so far in camp? Yeah, the defense has always been one of our strongest uh, assets, I'd say, and I think we're looking really good. You know, we have a lot of experience in that back line, and uh, we got the chemistry coming back from last year, so just seeing them grow and then kind of taking those younger players and trying to show them how we do it here, it's been awesome. I know she's been away in a few weeks, but what are your, your thoughts on Becky, who is the assistant coach? Yeah, I mean, I love it. I love the woman power. Huge fan of getting some more females in here, but um, I'm super excited to work with her. I know she's had a great career in the midfield, and as selfishly as a midfielder, I'm excited to work with her. Yeah. Joe has always talked to us about how he wants the players to always be first. How has he shown that through the first few weeks of camp? Yeah, I think Joe showed a lot, uh, giving us a lot of freedom. He wants us to kind of grow as players and as people. He's given us a lot of more of decision making, uh, more freedom on the field, which I think is allowing us to grow and uh, mentally and physically on the field. After last season's success, what do you feel like you guys took the most from that and kind of carry into this season? Yeah, that's a great question. I think um, obviously we were really happy and gave us a lot of confidence the success we had last year, but I think it also made us hungrier, uh, wanted us to go further than we ever have before, kind of gave us uh, motivation for the future. To have Danny White come out here and say that, you know, he really looks to you guys to set the tone for, you know, the Tennessee Athletics. What was it like just hearing all of that from him and just how encouraged he is by what you guys were able to do last year? Yeah, it was definitely a huge confidence builder. I mean, to have the AD come out and just show us support and then just his, um, his way that he was able to listen to us and give us Joe, like that showed enough. But then for him to come out and talk to us, that was just a great confidence builder and honestly like inspired us to be like kind of showing how important like women's soccer is here at the athletic department. And then the new threads, the alternative jerseys. Oh, yeah. I don't know if you've been able to put one on yet. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how do you like it? Kind of yeah. Just, like, well, I mean, everybody loves Lady Ball Blue, but uh, just like everything it encompasses about like 50th anniversary of Title IX and kind of how it showcases the legacy that Pat Summit has kind of left us for women's sports. I mean, it's it's honestly an honor to be able to represent and follow in that legacy. What do you feel like it will be about this team that you guys can replicate the success you all did last year and even more like you guys want to do? Yeah, I think we have uh, a lot of the same leadership and experience we have coming in last year. I mean, only losing. Uh, Ren is our starter that puts us in a huge, gives us a huge advantage, and then we have a lot of great talent coming in. Um, the the new players are willing to listen, willing to learn, ask questions, and just building off the energy that we came out of last season with. We talk about the defense always kind of being the strength of this team. Do you think it'll be the same this year, or do you guys think you're more balanced? I mean, I think we've always been balanced to a, a extent. I'm a little biased because I'm I got my backs in my heart, close to my heart. But um, I think we have like just as much as we have defense and a strong back line. We have just as much threat and opportunity uh, up top and up front. Joe never singles out any player, but who do you feel like has stood out early in camp? Well, that's a great question. Um, I mean, there's been a lot of a lot of talent showing through camp. I mean, you have Taylor Huff, who's just a beast. Her speed, her her willingness to compete is also uh, always inspiring. I mean, Tara Katz, she doesn't get a lot of love, but man, she's been back there for four years now and she is hard to beat. Um, yeah, I guess 
Jordan, I can't even, this is hard, <laughs> man. Gotta pick names. Jordan Fusco's always balling out, always competing. I mean, we have a lot of competitiveness out there, so it's gonna be an awesome season. I'm excited. Last question. Oh, okay, I was gonna ask about Mackenzie George. She's fifth year along with you. How would you describe the way that she impacts the team? Yeah, I mean, Ken's brings so much energy. Like, she's one of the main contributors to, like, the fun we have. She, you know, she's, she's got a great personality. She's goofy, but she's also just, as you guys know, she's a beast. She's tough, and she's always competing, and that, bringing that energy to uh, games and practice is how we're getting better. Awesome. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah, thank you, guys. <laughs>